Let's just like make it a little extra greasy. Extra greasy with a side of lettuce and some grease, girl. I want my lettuce swimming in my grease. Yes, honey, when it is sitting in that wrapper, ooh. -hoo -hoo. Well, hello, beautiful people. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic, fantastic day. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be going through and testing out some newer makeup. Now, some of it is actually new, okay, like newer to the market, and other items are just, you know, things that I've kind of accumulated that uh, they're new to me and I wanna test them out. So if that sounds good to you, hang tight. We're gonna get into it here in just a second. But of course, per usual, I do like to stop at the very beginning and just take a second to introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they usually go up right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan, so we have a bright early morning Midwestern kind of upload. Hell yes, what's going on? We're hanging out with the tractors, you guys, bright and early. Again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for the most part. It's have been a little bit crazy lately, so, you know, sometimes I need a little, little flexibility on that schedule, but uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely do so before you leave, turn on your post notifications, and then my biggest piece of self-promo, self-plug, my biggest thing that I am going to put out unto the world, okay? I would greatly appreciate it if you'd go follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. But for any of you that might not know, I am trying to get to 10,000 followers over on Instagram. Um, that way I can get the swipe up feature in my Insta stories. It would be super nice, very convenient. I would greatly appreciate it. By the way, can we just like take a second, just take like a real quick pause, okay? Let's just dream into the future. I am gonna be linking the shit out of this life when I finally get this feature because I think in my head, like all the things, all the videos, all the, all the everything's I wanna link already. And then I'm just like, what are all the bonus things? Like I'm gonna be linking clouds, fucking sky. I'm gonna be linking totally Toe socks, like to toe socks. I haven't worn toe socks in 10 years, but bitch, I'm gonna find some and I'm gonna link them because I am so excited, okay? Um, I just I just need this wipe up feature. So again, follow me over on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot. I try to include this in uh, every video because um, it's kind of important. If you don't follow me and you wanna know what kind of content I produce over there, I really like to do makeup looks, makeup IGTV, like application. I like to do makeup reviews. I like to do plus size fashion. It's a little bit more business casual, but I just really love kind of playing around in that whole sphere and just really love getting to share like that part of my life with you guys and just kind of I, I don't know like the hangout part of Instagram is my favorite and uh, yeah we hang out which by the way actually if you weren't following me just you know side note um if you aren't following me over there I did ask over the weekend I think it was maybe Saturday I asked you guys if there was anything in like the merch department um that you might be interested in seeing because I'm not trying to like give nothing away okay but I have been designing a little merch by designing merch of course I mean like I, I didn't design it you guys I don't have the ability like I'm not even uh, talented when it comes to that kind of stuff but I do have a girl. She's absolutely amazing. And I just wanted your guys' input to see if there was anything, you know, that came to your mind, if there's any merch you'd like to see, any designs, um, that sort of stuff. So I posted that on Instagram. You can leave that down as well in the comments. You know, if there's anything that, when you think of Paige, bitch, like this is the first thing you think of or you think it would make cute merch, anything like that. Again, leave it down in the comments. I think it would be so awesome to hear from you guys. Which, by the way, I do get questions on this fairly often, so I'm just throwing it out there speaking of merch. Um, I link everything that I use, like makeup-wise, that I talk about. All of that's always linked in the description, but I've also been going through and linking all of my, like, earrings, all of my jewelry, so, like, all of these, these, this, um, you know, that sort of stuff. I always try to link that down below, and the reason that I say all this is because I know I'm gonna get questions on this sweatshirt, and you guys, I actually can't link it for you, and it makes me so sad. Um, my mom just got this for me over at Meyer, and I absolutely love it. It is so soft, amazing, and cozy, and, like, all the good things, but I can't link this exact, um, sweatshirt for you because I don't think you can shop Meyer online, which, again, I will double check. If you can, I will make sure it is linked, but but what I will do is, you know, I'll do a little Googling around and I'll see if I can find anything similar to this. And if that is available, I will link it down below as well. Uh, but guys, I just love this so much. It's so cute. It's tie dye. It's super soft. It's lightweight. And I mean, it has friends on it. And I just like, how could you go wrong? How could you go wrong with this? With good old, good old Chandler. Oh, I'm sorry. Chandler Bong right over here. <laughs> Dressed up as a bunny. Oh my God, you guys. Friends is one of my favorite shows. I love it so much. Okay. But anyways, you guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to just put my arms out here. Um, I'm going to, you know, shut the fuck up for 10 seconds. I'm going to zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, you guys. So we're good and zoomed in. And for the first couple of products, I actually don't have a new primer or a new foundation. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. For anybody that missed it, by the way, I did just do a full face testing Rare Beauty, which I will link up here. Since that video, I have been obviously, you know, continuing to test out the products. And this primer is a really beautiful, lightweight kind of illuminator. And I really like the way that it just like settles 
falls into the skin. It has a really serum-y consistency, which I did mention in that video. And just as I've worn it the last few times, it just looks so, like, naturally pretty. It's not, like, over-the-top, glowy-dewy, but it just gives you, like, that subtle amount, like, a really beautiful kind of lit-within glow. And you know what? Actually, for today, I have three new setting sprays because, I mean, you guys, you guys know me, okay? I just love setting sprays. But uh, I picked up this one. This is from It Cosmetics. It's Your Skin But Better Setting Spray with Skin Loving Hyaluronic Acid, Coconut Water, and Aloe Vera Extract for up to 16-hour makeup wear. And I haven't tried this before, but it does say on the back here that you can use it under makeup to prep or after for application to set and extend your makeup. And it's supposed to be kind of like a nice replenishing, hydrating kind of spray. So maybe we'll go in with some of this. Okay, it has two caps. <laughs> Paige, maybe we should pay attention. Go ahead, give it a little test spray first. Ooh, hear that? Ooh, that's a nice sound and mist. Oh my God, it has like no smell. Mmm. Oh, I really like that mister. Oh my God, that's a, oh, that's a nice mister. <laughs> Does anybody else go back to Shrek when they hear that? I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Remember Donkey when he's walking around? No? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Alright, now going in with foundation, I'm actually going to be using this sponge that I got from BK Beauty. And this is actually a part of a set that they did, like a collab they did with Kate the Great here on YouTube. We have all four of these brushes, which we're going to be testing out. And by the way, they're very soft, okay? Just like so, <laughs> so pillowy soft. But I have not used them yet. I saved them for today's video. So we have those brushes. And like I said, there was also this sponge that was a part of the set. And it was actually really cool. Obviously, they caught it long before I did, but right after they had shipped my bundle, like I got the shipping confirmation, they sent me an email and said, hey, you know, we forgot to put the sponge in the box. We are so sorry. And so obviously they, you know, wanted to send me out another sponge, but they actually sent me out two sponges just to make up for, you know, forgetting to put it in the box. And I actually thought that was really sweet. And I just wanted to give it a shout out because for me, customer service is a huge thing. And I just, I don't know, I thought it was really nice. It was a good, like, show of, of sorry on their end, but like, it wasn't any big deal. It came like the next day or maybe two days later. But obviously, like I said, I wanted to tell you guys because good customer service is awesome. And then number two, I wanted to give you a comparison because I have two of them. Um, this is the sponge when it is completely wet. It's really nice. The texture is beautifully squishy. Like it, it's the kind of... Ah! Anyways, as I was saying, um, this is the most beautifully, like, it has a dense kind of squish to it. Like, it has a nice, um, you can feel the aeration and that it's bigger, that it's more plump, but it still has a firmness to it. Unlike, uh, which one? That Rare Beauty sponge. It, it was, like, overly holy, and it just had, like, this really weird kind of texture to it. And this one doesn't. It has a really, like I said, just a nice firmness. It has a good even outside here, so I'm going to get that good even application. Also, did I just talk that long about a sponge? Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys, I love sponges so much. And sometimes I get a little bit carried away. I'm so sorry, but also I'm not sorry because I love sponges. I love sponges. Okay, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's just get into this. Okay, pick a foundation and let's move. Actually, you know what? Seems how we went in with the uh, the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better spray here. I'm going to continue that and go in with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation and skincare. And this is a foundation. I have it in Fair Neutral 11. And I did do a full review of this, which I will link up above if you missed it. And I am just going to go ahead and apply this really quickly with the sponge. I'm not going to use a brush because I have worn this foundation quite a few times and I just I prefer it with a sponge I like the application a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this on and applied oh god this sponge is so nice oh my god it has that consistency you guys like that consistency of happiness the consistency of pillowy goodness oh my god but it doesn't like absorb too much product and it's spreading so nicely oh my god all right so with the foundation on we're gonna obviously move into concealer and I do have a new product for that this is the new nude sticks concealer <laughs> What is wrong with me? Oh my god, did you see that recovery? <laughs> Paige, you weren't gonna ever catch that. I don't know why you try. Anyways, you guys, I have this new concealer here, and it just says this is the Nude Sticks Cream Concealer, and I have it in the shade Nude One, and it just comes in this little plastic packaging like this with a little wand. It's more of a flat paddle applicator, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess, you know, start applying it, and we'll kind of go from there. Truthfully, I don't remember what it said, like, on the site in terms of coverage, so... I'm not really sure what I'm gonna get, but you know, I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? So far, it seems to have a really nice creamy consistency, both in application and for the blend. It just, it's it's moving around really well, but it's not like completely disappearing, so it has a good medium weight feel. Now, I am gonna add a little bit more here just to kind of go in on the inner portion of my eye where I need a freckle more coverage, but that's actually really pretty, like the blend on that is kind of gorgeous. I didn't expect that. I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to be quite so, I don't know, like quite so creamy. Like it's sticking very well. And uh, I just feel like that consistency, it's so creamy. I thought it would move around a lot, but it's its not. It's actually 
God, it's, it's applying really nicely. It's blending and it's building even a little. Dang. I'm like actually kind of impressed with how pretty that looks under my eyes. I don't, I don't know what I expected, but it has like this smoothing hydration situation happening and I like it. It has a smoothing hydration situation and I like it. Also, that's toilet paper. My eyes are still watering. <laughs> You guys, it never stops. Hashtag allergies. They suck. I don't have a new powder, so I am just going to go through really quickly and set my under eyes and my T-zone with my Maybelline Fit Me here in 05 Fair. Oh my god, you guys, this powder is so good. Ooh, bitch, yes. We got to get the Hulk set down, honey. She's about ready to take over the damn world. Which, by the way, for anybody that's new here, you don't know, um, this wrinkle right up here, this big one in my forehead, we call her the Hulk. And then all of these little wrinkles that I have, because of course I got a shit ton of those too, we call those the mini Hulks or the Hulkettes, if you will. You know, if we just want to be like cute and proper. But uh, yeah, the Hulk and the Hulkettes today, bitch. They are just coming for me. I feel like they have their own heartbeat. <laughs> Like, they're just up there, like, doing their own thing, living their own life, and uh, they're just getting more, more, and more, you know, noticeable as my birthday approaches, which, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this or not, but, like, it's almost my birthday. <laughs> my birthday is um, the end of September, September 28th, and I will be 31 years old, and this year I'm actually weirdly excited for it. Like, in past years, I just haven't cared too much, but for some reason this year, man, I have, like, this renewed sense of self. I'm just feeling all kinds of happy and funky. Not even doing anything. That's the best part. Like, my birthday is on a Monday. <laughs> like, bitch, what are you gonna do? Literally nothing. Um, not that it matters anyways, because I don't leave my house on any other given day. But like, I don't know, my, my birthday's this year, and I'm just, I don't know. I'm kind of like feeling it. Like all of a sudden, I'm getting into this. Like I'm in my 30s. I can feel it. I'm living my best life. And I can just, I don't know, I can kind of feel it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say really is I'm feeling it. I just wanted you guys to know I'm feeling it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm feeling it <laughs> with my watery eyeballs. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the next product, which are from Benefit. And they actually did send these to me in PR, just in the interest of full disclosure. But these are their lip and cheek stains, and they sent it in poppy pink and mango tint. And then these are the two shades just swatched out. Again, this is the poppy one, and then mango is a little bit more orange. But for today, I actually wanted to do something a little bit different, and I wanted to try mixing them. Like, I'm going to mix up the colors on the back of my hand here. How pretty is that? I don't think you can see it really well, but it does look really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead here, and I think I'm just going to kind of, like, tap it on and see... Where is it? <laughs> hello? Um, hello? Excuse me? Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, where's the... Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Everybody just stop, okay? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something else out here. Let's... You know what? Let's pause really quick. I'm gonna go in with just some of the mango. And that, again, that's the brighter shade. I'm just gonna wipe it onto my little blender here. So this one on its own, you can see, right? Yeah, this one you can actually see like by itself. Ooh, 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 but I don't like this right here. I feel like you can see a little bit of like my cheek coming through. Like it's either, like maybe it's taking off my foundation. I can't quite tell. Hold on, I'm gonna try it just with this color, just the mango side again over on the other side. Cause I need to know if it's that pink one or not. Like I'm, try I'm trying to figure out what the cause of the problem is here. Yeah, I really don't think I like that, uh, the texture of this uh, lip cheek tint thing. I don't think I like it with this foundation. It looks like a little bit more red and patchy right through here. And that's just the natural like discoloration that I have on my skin, like my acne scarring. That's that kind of being pulled through my foundation. It's either the texture of the foundation, I'm not sure, I'll have to play around, but uh, I don't think that they work well for this foundation for sure. But moving on from here, I'm actually gonna go ahead because that was my last cream product and I'm just gonna go through and set my entire face. To do that, I'm gonna use the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder and I have this in the shade light and I'm gonna apply it with the BK Beauty 102 brush. This is the big fluffy soft ass brush. Oh my God, this thing looks so good and it feels so soft, oh my God. That feels fantastic. I'm just gonna give myself a nice little light kind of draping. Oh wow, that glides so beautifully over the skin too. <gasps> mm, my God, this brush is so beautifully soft. And then for bronzer, I actually didn't have like a new, new bronzer to talk about, but I did get one that I've never tried from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzing Duo. I have it in the shade Sunkissed Bronze, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, I think I'm mainly gonna go in with the matte side and maybe like dabble over a little bit into the shimmer, but I bought this bronzer because I have been loving and raving and obsessing over the cover effects, the uh, blush duos. Guys, I have loved those for so long and I have I have all the shades of them. Like that's how much I love them. And I keep them right in front of me, okay? Because I, I just never put them away because I think the texture of them, the way they apply, just everything about those is fantastic. And uh, so I really like the formula. And so I figured like, why the hell haven't I tried the bronzer? We better get going on that. So as a side note, I just want to mention, um, I have a lot more light coming at this side of my face than I do at this side. 
side. So if you happen to see this side looks a little bit darker, especially back here, um, it's not that the bronzer is too dark. It's not that it's like over applied or anything. It's just that there's a little bit of a shadow. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and move on to blush. And I have the new one from Melt. It's one of their blush duos. And uh, it is so good. I talked about this one over on Instagram as well. Um, like, look at the packaging. First of all, it has that soft touch feel to it. I love the color. I love that it has this adorable little bumblebee. <laughs> like, everything about this is so cute. And then you open it up. Again, I got the shade Buzzkill. And look at this adorable adorable color. And here are the two shades swatched. Again, you have more of this, you know, lighter kind of corally pink shade and then a very light, almost champagne-y pink. I'm going to go in for my blush with just this one, just the corally pink shade. And I'm just going to very lightly kind of tap over there and apply that as just my blush. And then maybe put the other one on as like a little bit of a highlight situation. Oh my God, you guys, that is so beautiful. Like I'm actually stunned at how much I love this color. And I'm really, you know what, actually for me, I think I'm even more stunned at the freaking texture because this is more, like both sides of this are shimmery. And typically on me, I don't love a shimmery blush because it really emphasizes, you know, like all the things, all the pores, all the texture. And this one doesn't. But really quickly too, I am gonna go in with the BK brush. This is their 108, the one that's a little bit more tapered. And I'm gonna take my KKW Brightening Under Eye Powder here. This is in the shade one. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and lightly kind of blend my under eye, brighten everything up, and then kind of blend out the edge of that blush just a little bit right there. And you know what? I think I am gonna go in with the other side of this Melt Duo here, and I'm gonna use it as a little bit of a highlight. But before I go that far, I'm just I'm just changing up the order of everything today, and I'm gonna add a little bit of this setting spray. This is another new one I haven't tried from Urban Decay. This is their All Nighter Ultra Glow Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, and it says that this is all day wear, lightweight, it has temperature control technology. Let's go ahead first and do a little bit of a test here, okay. Good, very nice, very lightweight. And there is no smell to it, like there's no added fragrance. Let's just give it a spray. Mm. Ooh, that's good. So I didn't go in with a lot of it, obviously, because I am more combo leaning oily, but I just wanna see, like I wanna spray a little bit on my hand here and just see what the finish looks like because I feel like I can see a little glowiness happening, like up, up on my forehead, a little on my nose. I just want to see. Yeah, it does give you like a little bit of a shine. Like it's not overbearing in any way, but it's just ever so gentle. Like it's a it's nice little dewy lilty moment. That's really pretty. Okay. But anyways, from there, I'm going to go back in with this Melt Duo and I'm going to grab this lighter side and just see how it looks as more of like a highlighty moment. Actually, I just wiped off the BK brush. This is again that 108. I just want to see how this looks like up in this region. Don't get me wrong. I do think it's too dark to be um, a highlight because obviously I'm super pasty, but I thought the color would just look really pretty to kind of layer on with a highlight. I would absolutely use this side of the Blush Duo like this, like either as a highlight layerer to kind of manipulate manipulate another color or as a blush topper, I think it would be pretty. You know, you could just go in with the duo and apply both of them, like mix them together and apply it all over as a blush. That would work fine too. Um, but this is beautiful. And then to go in and just kind of finish up the complexion because I don't have um, an, like an actual highlight that's new, I am just going to go in with my Hourglass Metallic Strobe Lighting. This is what I've been using a lot lately. And I'm going to go in with this middle shade here. It's a very bright kind of champagne-y color. And I'm just going to layer it just right over top of the other. Ooh, yes. And you see how the one underneath just gives it like a little bit more of a, like a pinky kind of sheen. Oh my God, that is so pretty. And I really like that it gives me almost like an overly done kind of blushy cheek which is so pretty. I love that blush veiling look. I think it's gorgeous. Yes, bitches, y'all see that chalupa chin? Let's just like make it a little extra greasy, extra greasy with a side of lettuce and some grease, girl. I want my lettuce swimming in my grease. Yes, honey, when it is sitting in that wrapper, ooh, <laughs> did that even make sense? I want my leftover lettuce swimming in grease in my wrapper. <laughs> Bitch, that's greasy. Yes, just like my chin. Oh, so good. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with brows and I actually have something new to test out from ABH. This is their new brow pen and I picked this up in the shade shade medium brown. It has a beautiful little light flicky kind of motion to it. Definitely um, the type of product where you can get those little hair-like strokes if that's your thing. But before I go in and use that pen, I am going to go in and use my brow gel first. This is just the Benefit Gimme Brow and this is in the shade 4.5. I'm just going to go in and use this as a way to define the hairs that I already have. That way I can see where I need to go in with that uh, that ABH pen. And then of course, just as an FYI, this, uh, this brow gel was sent 
sent to me in PR also from Benefit, just so you guys know. Um, just in the interest of full disclosure. But anyways, now that I can see a little bit better what hair I actually have, um, I'm gonna go in with this little ABH flick pen, and I'm gonna start by just kind of going in here at the base and flicking in an upward direction, just trying to get like a feel for the pigmentation to start. Okay, I like the control. I like the, the flick part of it. It is giving me a nice kind of fluffy look, which is good, okay. This is definitely the type of product though that there's a little bit of a learning curve with. All right, you guys, so I am back. Um, I realized, you know, after about five minutes of complete silence of just like me concentrating <laughs> that I should probably just stay off of camera, do my brows, and then I could come back and give you my thoughts. And I think for this, you know, the biggest quality of it that I actually really enjoy is the buildable aspect because this color, like when I was first, you know, going in initially swiping it on my hand, I was testing out the pigmentation. I, I was a little bit worried because it was so light. But then when I went to go and start working it through my brows, I was so impressed at the way that the color built on itself, and it did it in a really beautiful, like, natural gradient kind of way. But the thing for me, other than building up the color that I really enjoyed about this, is doing the front of my brows, like, right up just, you know, the part toward the inner eye right there, because you can get the most beautiful, wispy, light kind of hair strokes with it, and it's not the kind of pen where you don't have, you know, much control or where it's too stiff, because this actually has a beautiful flow and a beautiful flicking motion to it. It's just very fluid and overall like I think it applied beautifully I think my brows look really nice moving on from there I do have one item for eyeshadow that I want to talk about and I did I mean I do have a couple more things but because my eyes are like so unbelievably watery today I don't want to go in and do like this in-depth review when ultimately my eyes just they're not going to tolerate it anyways and so I thought I would focus in just on this one product that I did pick up from Charlotte Tilbury and this is one of her new jewel pots this is in the shade walk of shame and I actually picked this up along with, you know, just as a spoiler alert, I also picked up the gloss. Um, this is the easy to apply dazzling diamond gloss. Um, also in the same shade, of course, Walk of Shame. Oh my god, you guys, I love this packaging. Can you see how absolutely adorable that is? It has like this faceted top right here. Oh my god, that is so cute. I love this color so much. It's actually not nearly as red based as I thought it would be. It's more of like a pinky gold kind of shift. Oh my God, though, that is so pretty. Actually, you guys, I just had the best idea ever. Okay, I'm not trying to like brag or anything. Toot, toot, beep, beep coming through. Uh, but I also picked up this during the Nordstrom sale. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Gorgeous Glowing Eye Secrets. And it comes with two of their little eyes to mesmerize and a mascara. And we could use these because I've never tried these colors. I've only tried the other one. What is it? This one. I keep it right here because I use it all the time. Um, this is in Marie Antoinette. And you guys, this shade, like, let me just show you. I've talked about it so many times but I have used so much of this like look look at this you guys how much makeup do I have okay and I have used this so much I've used probably half of it and the texture the color like everything about it is perfection and so when I saw this on the Nordstrom site which by the way I think it's still on there even though like the sale is obviously over but I'm pretty sure this like combo is still there I'll make sure if it is to link it down below and then just in case too I'll also make sure to link all of them separately that way if you're into one color not the other you can shop that as well but uh, I wanted to try these other other shades um, because I've obviously never tried them. I've only tried the one and now I'm sitting here thinking like if we have this potted moment, let's look at these colors and see what they look like. Oh, oh my God. What is this pumpkin-y gold goodness? Can you see? Oh, mm, how satisfying. What shade is this? This is golden eclipse. Oh, oh my God. Are you beautiful? Oh yes, honey. Just like a golden dream. Oh my God, look at how beautiful that is. Okay, so that is, again, Golden Eclipse. Let's just set you down. And then the other shade is, oh my God, that's beautiful. This is in Star Gold. Oh my God, it's much more of like a bronzy gold. And then this one obviously is a light gold. And then this one is this beautiful pumpkin-y, pinky, shimmery situation. <sighs> Guys, how am I supposed to choose what to do? Oh my God, these are all so beautiful. So here's how we're gonna choose. It's gonna be super scientific. <laughs> okay, you ready for this? I'm gonna take some of this Charlotte Tilbury, the Walk of Shame um, new shimmery thing that we have, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and then just tap it over each color just to see like which one I like more and kind of go from there. All right, you guys, so I officially love it on both colors because on the lighter gold, it makes it like, you know, gives it that pinky hue, but on the darker one right here, it just softens that bronzy color ever so subtly and it takes it from like a stark bronzy gold over to like a bronzy gold pink shift and it just looks gorgeous like again they both look very pretty but that one for some reason 
It should look at me. I'm like, huh? It just looks so beautiful. All right, you guys, I'm just going to make an executive decision. I'm going in with the darker one here, which is Star Gold. And I'm going to apply that with my Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush. Really quick, I'm just going to go in with a freckle of that Nude Sticks Concealer. And I'm going to use that just to even out the base. From there, I'm going to take the Star of Gold little pot and I'm going to get the Real Techniques brush. And I just like to dive right in here, grab a fair amount of product. Because by the way, with this stuff, um, a little goes a long way. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I probably grabbed way too much. And uh, it blends out very nicely and it blends really far. So you definitely don't need a ton of product. Yeah, that one dip did both eyes. <laughs> like, look at how fast. Like, it just blends out. There's no weird lines. It's not chunky. Oh my god, like this consistency, this texture, everything about it is so good. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that as well and just run it very lightly on the lower lash line. Um, just to make sure I have like a little something down there. Also, just as a real quick side note, I just noticed something on the box here. It says that this kit includes the exclusive Eyes to Mesmerize shade Golden Eclipse, which is this center shade right here, that lighter golden color. And so I don't know if that one will be available elsewhere or if it really is only exclusive like to this set. Uh, but just so you guys know, if you've never seen it before, or you can't find it. Maybe that, maybe that is why. But uh, at this point, I'm going to go in now with the little potted jewel. And I'm actually going to take the same brush here, that same Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to dive right in, pick up, again, a fair amount of product. And I'm going to use that to just kind of stamp on all over the mobile lid here just to really move that color. That is absolutely stunning, okay? It gives, like, this really nice kind of light pink shift to this already, like, deep bronze kind of color. And it just softens it ever so lightly. Oh my god, that's actually really, really pretty. I like it a lot. And I really, don't get me wrong, I like the other color by itself, but like, I love those two together. Because I just love that it gives it like that little bit of added warmth, even like that little added fall vibe. Very, very pretty. Okay, so at this point, other than adding a little highlight to my brow bone and my inner eye, I'm gonna call that good for the eye look. And at this point, I'm going to stop before mascara and go in with one more setting spray. This is, again, a new one I haven't tested, also from Lil Miss Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And it says here that it primes and sets for up to 16 hours and that you instantly will lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. Um, no melting, no fading, and no creasing. Oh, Hey, honey, that is a big claim. Okay, let's go ahead. Wow, that is a really nice packaging. You see that? Damn. Um, let's go ahead here, do a little tester. Ooh, ooh, that's a good mist. This one does have fragrance. Okay, this is the first out of the three that's had fragrance, but it's not too much. Like, it's not super overwhelming. Ooh, that's good. I give that just a second to dry in. Go ahead, I just want to look at my skin up close. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's actually kind of beautiful. Like, can I tell it? I can actually kind of see a different... What the hell sorcery is this, Charlotte? I feel like I can see a difference, like, right up in my, like, textured areas. That's actually really pretty. My forehead looks good, too. Okay. But anyways, really quickly here, I am just going to go ahead, like I said, and add my um, brow bone and my inner eye highlight. So I'm just going to take a little bit, still using, <laughs> of course I'm still using, honey, the, uh, the Hourglass Little Metallic Strobe Lighting. I'm just going to take and kind of blend that. That's so pretty, guys. I just... <sighs> I can't say enough good things, okay? I love this highlight. You know, the funny part is that I didn't let myself use it for so long on camera because you couldn't buy it. Like, it was discontinued. And uh, I was so excited. I think it was, what, like, six, five, six months, something like that ago. Um, they decided to bring it back out. And, oh, my God, you guys, I was all over. I bought another one because I needed a backup. Like, this is so... Oh, it's so good. I can't, oh, I can't, I still can't believe, like, did I need, need another one? Probably not because I have a thousand highlights, but this was just one of those things where, like, I, I had to have one. Truthfully, I just don't think I'd ever be able to forgive myself if I, like, let it come out. I never bought one, and then what if in three years, like, I need it, like, I need it, need it? I would, ugh, I'd just be so devastated. So I bought one, and it's just fantastic. Again, highly recommend. I'll make sure it's linked down below. Everything else, <gasps> it's just so good. I love this highlight. Absolutely, you know I'm about ready to get that inner eye highlight on. Look at that bitch. Oh, honey, she is glowing for days. It's like putting the little sun right, right there, just right in my inner eye. I just love, oh, I love a good inner eye highlight. All right, and then obviously moving on to mascara next. I'm just gonna get my eyelashes good and curled. And then for mascara itself, since how it was in the kit, I'm just gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. And uh, I actually really like this mascara, spoiler alert. I have used it before. And I actually think I've went through probably one or two of these mascaras. Um, just because I like the formula. It does give you like a nice lift, but it also gives you a fair amount of um, build and volume and length. 
and I just I feel like it's a really good kind of everything mascara and it works good layered too so it works well with others which is always a bonus all right you guys so I am back the mascara is on and applied and I did go in with a little bit of eyeliner this is something else that I'm testing out that you'll probably see in another video but uh, it's just a NYX eyeliner this is their epic wear liner in the shade deepest brown and from here we're officially good to move on to the last step which is lips and for that I have two different options um, like I said before I have the Charlotte Tilbury jewel lips that I told you guys about in the shade walk of shame but then I also picked up this nudie situation because I wasn't really sure which way we were gonna go and so I have from buxom their full-on plumping lip polish and this is in the shade hazel oh my god you guys look at this color can you see oh my god it's like a golden brown I'm obsessed you guys fall is my thing it's my world it's my life and I am living I can't even stand the excitement and by the way I love these buxom polishes anyways and actually hold on it says on the box here that this is a fall scent hold on oh he's got to get in there oh my god it is oh my god like a spicy scent to it but not like a cinnamon spice more of like a like a nut nutmeg gingerbread kind of cookie spice Oh God, that smells so, but it's so light. Like it's it's a really pleasant light kind of smell. It's not overwhelming at all. Anyways, here's the swatch of that shade. You can tell it's a lot more, just like a light kind of very, very light golden brown. And uh, this is definitely something I could put over obviously a slightly darker base. And of course we're gonna swatch and check out this Charlotte Tilbury one here, which, oh, <gasps> fuck my whole world, honey. Look at this bedazzled cap. You guys see how damn sparkly that is? <gasps> Bitch, we love a sparkly moment. Oh my God, this color too is super pretty. I don't know. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, could work for this. Look, listen to me. God forbid I just swatch it and look at it, okay? Let's just do a little swatchy moment. Oh, it's like a burgundy red with sparkles. That's super beautiful, too. Wait, does this one stink? No, okay, good. You guys, remember that one, that Charlotte Tilbury gloss? I don't know what the hell it was, but it stunk so damn bad. It, oh, it literally it was the worst smell ever and I know it's not this one because I almost didn't buy this one because I wasn't sure um but this is like it doesn't smell at all thank god okay thank you Charlotte for not making a stinky ass gloss um but this is so beautiful and I think they would actually both work really well <laughs> for this eye look actually you know what you guys I just forgot but I have these um lip liners that I got from KKW over I talked about these over on Instagram actually but she had a sale and I bought these nude like a bunch of um just like nudie brown kind of liners and I could probably use one of these today. I think out of all of the shades I have, I'm going to go in with this one, which is 90s Glam, right? Yeah, 90s Glam. I'm just going to use this to lightly line out the lips. Her lip liners are actually really nice. They're super creamy. All right, and then again, I'm going to go in with the uh, Buxom one here. This is in their, their, this is their full-on plumping lip polish in the shade Hazel. Oh, the shade Hazel. That's my puppy's name. Did I not notice that until just now? Oh, that's so pretty. It's so reflective. I love their polishes, though, like Buxom chef's kiss okay their shit's so good and all right you guys with that the full face is done and complete of course this is how everything looks um i did go ahead and zoom the camera back out so you could see kind of the whole scope of everything you know just a little, little bit farther away and i do want to go ahead really quickly give you guys the up close that way you can see just how everything obviously turned out closer you know how it's settling onto the skin and i think for me you know like overall i think the you know the skin the face the eyes everything does look really nice and so in terms of the products i don't really have too much to comment on i gave a lot of that as i went but just something that I want to mention, you know, especially now that I see everything done, uh, because even for me, like I zoomed out the camera and I was so impressed at just how everything came together um, from far away. And I think for me what it is, because I sat here for just a second and really, really kind of creepily stared at myself. And I think what it's really drawing it together, like I love the way that the eyes and the lips match. They really complement each other. But I think it's really that blush that's happening like right through here because it has this brightness to it, like this undertone, that coral pink does where it just like turns up and it gives it almost like fall but with a fresh face vibe and just overall for me like this full face it's really really working I love the way it turned out I think for me you know I talked about this already but the only item on here that didn't like really work work for me was the benefit tinted product and that could have like I said before either been a foundation issue that could be a me issue I'm not sure but other than that one thing I don't think I had any other issues I have to say just on a side note it was really nice to test out three setting sprays and have them all not only work together 
together, but have them all have a beautiful mist, a beautiful application, and the scents on, well, two of them didn't even have a scent, and then even the Charlotte Tilbury one, like, the scent on that, it is so light and so, um, like I said, just has, like, that light spiciness, but it dissipates almost immediately, and it was just so nice to have, like, three setting sprays that worked and just have all of these things go so well, and, I mean, ultimately have them all press into my skin so nicely and have it look so smooth, and I don't know, I'm just feeling it, you guys, and I'm loving, oh my god, I love, I just love this color combo on the eyes, the lips, the cheek, the whole thing, but anyways, you guys, that is it, that's the end of the video, because, I mean, <laughs> truthfully, I don't have anything else to say, I've said it all already, and so I want to hear from you guys down below in the comments, is there anything um, in this video that you were interested in, anything that you've tried, what do you think, your thoughts, or just any other products that you've been testing, that you were curious if I'm testing, you know, anything like that, uh, leave me all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments, and of course, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and uh, very, very, very importantly, you can go follow me over on Instagram, everything is down below, and with that, you guys, I bid you adieu, thank you all so, so much for watching, please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. But anyways, you guys, pause. Everybody just slow down, okay? Just calm down, Paige. So many things are happening in my brain. It's just because so much. Okay. 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 Okay.